The Lockheed Martin SR-72 is a cutting-edge hypersonic aircraft that has generated significant interest and excitement in the aerospace community. Known as the Son of Blackbird, the SR-72 is a successor to the iconic SR-71 Blackbird reconnaissance aircraft, pushing the boundaries of speed and technology. The SR-72 is designed to be a high-speed unmanned reconnaissance aircraft, capable of flying at hypersonic speeds, which means it can travel faster than five times the speed of sound. This level of speed allows the SR-72 to rapidly cover vast distances and collect critical intelligence in a short period. The aircraft is expected to have a range of applications, including surveillance, reconnaissance and strike missions. As of right now, there's very little that has been released about the aircraft, but in recent years, people have come forward and claimed that they've seen it. Interestingly, an image of a futuristic aircraft has just been released, sparking speculation among users and military enthusiasts. Although limited information is available from the image, it has been widely shared across groups that investigate mysterious aircrafts. Discussions and theories about the unidentified aircraft have been ongoing among users, and it's caused some to share their own encounters saying that they believe the SR-72 has been tested above certain regions across the United States. Those who've seen the image have expressed skepticism. While acknowledging the genuineness of the image, they question whether it might be something other than a hypersonic craft. One user said that the object isn't an aircraft, but said that they perceive it as resembling a speedboat. Since this announcement, various people have claimed that they've seen this aircraft causing some to theorize that perhaps it's already flying around in the sky. Black futuristic aircrafts have been sighted now for several years, and there have been countless sightings that have been reported by eyewitnesses. But one of the issues is that most of these encounters happen during the night, when visibility is bad and camera quality declines, which means that gathering evidence has been difficult. Many residents in the United States have been reporting mysterious sonic booms, and when this news was announced, some put forward the idea that the United States may have been testing this new hypersonic aircraft and that this is what people were hearing. Other people across the United States have said that they've seen stealth aircrafts in the sky during the daytime, but note that they are too high and fast to photograph. New York's Hudson River Valley has been a hotspot for years, with eyewitnesses coming forward with strange phenomena occurring in the area. Thousands of residents between 1983 and 1986 encountered these strange aircrafts in the Hudson Valley area, with them saying that the strange crafts were witnessed by hundreds of people as traffic on roads nearby came to a standstill and motorists left their cars in order to get a better look at them. The phenomena that had occurred that night would return after a week had passed. Officer Andy Sadoff of the New Castle Police was on routine patrol when he also claimed to have witnessed the craft, describing it as being black in colour and looking futuristic. Back in 1991, residents located in Southern California heard a series of unusual sonic booms, and interestingly, the United States Geological Survey even picked them up on their sensors. NASA and the Air Force came forward and said that it wasn't their SR-71 Blackbird, as it was not operating on the day the booms were heard. Former NASA sonic boom expert Dom Maglieri, who went on to study the sonic boom data at the California Institute of Technology, said that the data showed that this craft was at an altitude of around 90,000 feet and was hitting Mach 5. Mach 5 means it was going 6,100 km per hour or 3,800 miles per hour. To this day, there's been no official answer for who was behind this mysterious sighting and no military has come forward to claim that they were behind the reports. Lockheed Martin officials have confirmed that they are actively involved in the development of advanced development aircraft programs, indicating that these projects are indeed a reality. The SR-72 will emerge as the most remarkable aircraft worldwide, equipped with cutting-edge hypersonic technology. According to certain sources, there are claims suggesting that the SR-72 will possess the capability to hit targets worldwide in under 60 minutes. This aircraft, reaching speeds of 14,500 miles per hour, will function as a flight research vehicle that can operate with or without a pilot. According to Rob Weiss, the executive vice president of Lockheed Martin and the general manager of Skunk Works, there has been a long-standing belief that hypersonic technology would be available within two years, 
but this timeline has been consistent for the past two decades. However, Weiss assures that the technology is now mature, and efforts are being made by Lockheed Martin, DARPA, and the military services to expedite its implementation for the benefit of our military personnel. DARPA, the Defense Advanced Research Project Agency, released the following on their website. DARPA's Falcon Hypersonic Technology Vehicle 2 program is a multi-year research and development effort to increase the technical knowledge base and advance critical technologies to make long-duration hypersonic flight a reality. Data from the program informs policy, acquisition, and operations decisions for future Department of Defense conventional prompt global strike programs. Hypersonic data is collected through extensive modeling and simulation, wind tunnel testing, and two experimental flight tests. The ultimate goal is a capability that can reach anywhere in the world in less than an hour. Falcon Hypersonic Technology Vehicle 2 is an unmanned, rocket-launched, maneuverable aircraft that glides through the Earth's atmosphere at incredibly fast speeds, Mach 20, which is approximately 13,000 miles per hour. At these speeds, flight time between New York City and Los Angeles would be less than 12 minutes. The Hypersonic Technology Vehicle is a data truck with numerous sensors that collect data in an uncertain operating envelope. End quote. One of the defining features of the SR-72 is its propulsion system. It is designed to use a combined cycle engine, which combines a traditional jet engine with a scramjet. This dual-mode propulsion system enables the aircraft to operate efficiently at both subsonic and hypersonic speeds. The transition from subsonic to hypersonic speeds is a critical technological challenge, and the SR-72 aims to overcome this hurdle with its innovative propulsion system. The SR-72's advanced technology and speed offer several advantages in terms of military operations and national security. Its ability to fly at hypersonic speeds allows it to rapidly penetrate hostile airspace, gather intelligence, and deliver time-sensitive information to commanders on the ground. The aircraft's speed and agility also make it highly difficult to track and intercept, giving it a significant advantage over traditional aircraft. Moreover, the SR-72's reconnaissance capabilities are expected to be unparalleled. Its advanced sensors and imaging systems will provide real-time, high-resolution imagery and data, enabling analysts to make informed decisions quickly. This real-time intelligence gathering will enhance situational awareness and enable rapid response to emerging threats. In addition to its reconnaissance capabilities, the SR-72 has the potential to be a formidable strike platform. Its hypersonic speed and agility make it an ideal candidate for delivering precision strikes on time-sensitive targets. With the ability to rapidly reach any part of the globe, the SR-72 could offer an unmatched level of flexibility and responsiveness in military operations. The development of the SR-72 represents a significant technological leap forward in the field of aerospace. It is a testament to the innovation and engineering prowess of Lockheed Martin pushing the boundaries of what is possible in aircraft design and performance. However, it is important to note that the aircraft is still in the early stages of development, and much of the information surrounding its capabilities and progress remains classified or undisclosed. The potential impact of the SR-72 extends beyond military applications. Hypersonic technology has the potential to revolutionize commercial air travel, significantly reducing travel times and opening up new possibilities for global connectivity. The lessons learned from developing and operating the SR-72 could pave the way for future advancements in hypersonic transportation. The United States Air Force initiated the creation of a scaled demonstrator for the SR-72 in 2013. However, there has been minimal public information about the progress made in developing this aircraft. Instead, the focus in recent years has shifted towards another Lockheed project, the F-35, which aims to provide the US and its allies with air superiority in future conflicts. Lockheed Martin has recently announced the successful completion of ground tests for an innovative engine that could potentially power future long-distance aircraft. These ground tests have been ongoing since 2013, when the United States Air Force made their initial announcement. The engine, developed in collaboration between Lockheed Martin and Aerojet Rocketdyne, utilizes a combined cycle propulsion system 
that combines elements of ramjets and rocket engines. This partnership between the two companies was established in 2006 to drive forward technological advancements in the aviation industry. Lockheed's Skunk Works is now rapidly approaching setting to work on a full-scale flight research vehicle to test the potential of the new engine platform. The FRV, which is expected to be about the size of an F-22, could potentially be a piloted craft, but may also be an unmanned drone. Their current plans call for the FRV to begin flights as soon as the early 2020s, followed soon thereafter by a full-size SR-72 demonstrator that will be equipped with two of the new, extremely powerful engines. This incredibly impressive Mach 6 Marvel is currently undergoing testing and is expected to be showcased in initial flight demonstrations by 2023 at the latest. However, due to the secrecy surrounding its development, it is possible that it has already made its way into the sky without the knowledge of the general public. The development program known as the Son of Blackbird has been shrouded in secrecy for the past decade, causing speculation within the aviation industry. This advanced aircraft, which can operate without a pilot or with semi-autonomous capabilities, utilizes a unique hypersonic propulsion system. Its primary purpose is to serve as an intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance vehicle, equipped to gather crucial information at high altitudes. Lockheed Martin ATL is a division of Lockheed Martin Corporation, one of the world's leading aerospace and defense companies. The ATL facility serves as a hub for cutting-edge research and development activities, bringing together scientists, engineers and industry experts to tackle complex technological challenges. With a strong focus on collaboration and interdisciplinary approaches, the lab aims to foster innovation and develop practical solutions to real-world problems. One of the key areas of expertise at Lockheed Martin ATL is in the field of advanced materials and manufacturing. The lab works on developing and integrating innovative materials, such as composites and lightweight alloys, to enhance the performance and efficiency of aerospace systems. These advancements have the potential to revolutionize the aerospace industry by enabling faster, more fuel-efficient and environmentally friendly aircraft. Another significant focus of Lockheed Martin ATL is in the domain of autonomous systems and artificial intelligence. The lab explores ways to leverage AI and machine learning algorithms to enhance the capabilities of autonomous systems, such as unmanned aerial vehicles and autonomous vehicles. The research conducted at ATL enables the development of intelligent and adaptive systems that can perform complex tasks with minimal human intervention. So, what do you make of this mysterious aircraft? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comments section below and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.